call Pogba for 100 million? Are you mad? You could buy 500 million Fredos for that same price. 500 million. Today I'm going to be going through how overrated Paul Pogba actually is and how he's not worth 100 million pounds. What did Paul Pogba do at the Euros again? Oh, that's right, absolutely nothing. In the six games and the one appearance he came on as a sub, he got one goal, one, and zero assists. For a guy that's worth 100 million, you'd be expecting at least six goals and at least five assists. That is just shocking. One goal and zero assists in six games for a guy that's apparently worth 100 mil. Jesus. He didn't even get in the team of the tournament, he's that bad. He's worth 100 million. Bale and Ronaldo both worth less than that, and they get in the team of the tournament. No, no, like he didn't, because he's overrated. Are you nice, right, so let's go into his Juventus career. Let's see if he's done any better there than he has done in France. Oh, wait, it, it, he's done worse. Yep, that was possible. As you can see, he's taken the most shots in the Serie A last season, yet is the 25th high school scorer. If he really is worth 100 million pounds, his pass accuracy should be above 90%. He should be ranked one on the pass accuracy, assists, goals, successful take on shots, everything. But no, he's ranked first and 254th. Yes, he may have done well when it comes to assists and successful take-ons, but with successful passes, key passes, tackles won, and pass accuracy, he's past 60 in the ranks. Like, that is just, for a player worth 100 million, oh, he's so overrated, it's unreal. I mean, you can see here that Paul Pogba commits more fouls per game than he even makes tackles. How is that even possible? Because when you look at his stats, do you realise how average Paul Pogba actually is? You can see 2012, 2013, he get 5 goals, 0 assists, it improved the next year, got 2 more goals, got 7 assists that year, improved the next year, goals wise, went down assists, and then that last year he did get those 8 goals and those 12 assists, which is decent, just... It's just decent though, it's not It's not amazing, it's not 100 million worth. His interceptions per game have kind of roughly um, stayed the same, well they've kind of had a drop in between them, they have stayed the same between the first and the last one. His passes per game has went up, his pass completions not went above 85% which isn't great, and his tackle per games has went down. These are some pretty average footballing stats. As a lot of you will know, Raheem Sterling got a lot of abuse last season for moving to Manchester City for 44 million. Paul Pogba is a lot more than double that price Yet, he's not getting any abuse at all. And when you look at the stats, Paul Pogba made 20 goals and assists last season. Raheem Sterling made 21 in 5 fewer games. So Raheem Sterling technically had a better season last season than Paul Pogba. But now we get to the worst part of it all. That's right. He used to be a Manchester United player. Can this get any more messed up? So he was at Manchester United as a youth player before getting let go to Juventus for a price of nothing. He went for absolutely free. Oh, it's like you just let one of your players go for free and four years later you're buying him back for 120 million euros. And yet nobody else seems to see anything wrong with this. Is it just me? They could have had him for free if they'd waited. But no, let's just give him to Juventus and then buy him back four years later for 120 million. Seems like a good idea. They picked an aging Paul Scholes, a like 30 plus year old Paul Scholes over him. They did not see his potential. Like, surely you'd be able to see his potential. If I was Paul Pogba, I would not want to join back to a team that rejected me as a youth player. I would just state Juventus if I was him, or maybe even wait for a bigger offer for Real Madrid and rather join them, because Man United aren't even in the Champions League. If he joins Man United, he's not getting Champions League football next season. Why would you do that when you could go to Real Madrid? Hello, Paul. Paul, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I, I was just wondering, um, I was wondering if you'd like to come back to Manchester United for, for next season. I have had a lot of offers from uh, very big clubs around, around, around Europe. Of course, Real Madrid, um, of course, Real Madrid being a big one. Um, we've had Manchester United, Manchester City, um, Chelsea as well, but uh, I, I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm not really liking one matter at the moment. I'm not liking Ander Herrera. Um, when Rooney, you know, he he's getting quite old. So I need a new central midfielder. I think like you could you could suit you could suit the position well. No, I'm I'm worried. I I won't be in Champions League football next season. I I don't want to miss out on on Champions League football. 
Um, I don't want to miss out on Champions League football next season. Paul, honestly. Paul, I know, I know. We're not getting Champions League football next season. Blame Louis van Gaal for that. That is not my fault. But next season, you will be here at this club. You will help us get in to Champions League. We will win. We will become the greatest club in the world again. Come on, Paul. You know you want to. Okay, Jose, I'll think about it. Thank you, Paul. Can you get a flight right now? Uh, I'm getting my, my hair cut at the moment. What do you mean you're getting your hair cut? I could I could probably make the 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 ten o'clock flight. Okay, Paul, I'll see you soon. What is it, Linda? Oh, Wayne Rooney again. All right, Jose. What is it, Rooney? You know, I I was just I was just talking to Colleen there, and I'm I'm just wondering. Um, can I can I play centre mid next week against Manchester City? Goodbye, Wayne. No wait, boss, boss, come on. Oh, Colleen is hanging up on me again. What do I say? So yeah, some questionable accents and that, but I feel like that is probably the way the conversation did, in fact, go. And this is just my opinion, guys. Pog Pogba is one of the most overrated players at the moment in football. I feel like he, he's just, he's nowhere near worth 100 million, guys. If you agree with it, make sure to tell me in the comment section down below. If you don't as well, make sure to tell me in the comment section down below. And just one more thing, for all you Man United fans watching this, I may be a bit annoyed at this point. Here's something that might cheer you up. Balotelli! <laughs> anyway guys, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button, comment down below, as I said, what do you think of today's video, do you want to see more rant videos like this in the future, make sure to tell me, subscribe guys as well if you're new to the channel, and apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.